guys, welcome to another episode of Day Reviews. Today, we're going to be going over Jujutsu Kaisen, chapter 135, uh, titled The Shibuya Incident, part 52. Last time on uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen, Chozo ran up on Ghetto, and uh, he's still out of it, man. <laughs> and I don't think he's coming, <laughs> I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> I don't think he's coming back, man. <laughs> he uh, is convinced that Itadori is his brother. Damn, they convinced me that Yuji was his brother. Um, and some random motherfucker that I seen with Sakuna ran up also with Ghetto about to throw them hands. There's a lot of motherfuckers on that battlefield right now. And I don't know what the fuck is going to happen besides motherfuckers just scrapping. So we're going to hop right into this. Says, <clears throat> says, it's an effect of my curse technique. I can sense the transformation of my younger brothers through our blood connection, no matter how far they are. Whoa, I can sense the transformation. It's, okay, so this is uh, uh, Chozo talking about his brothers. It says, for living things, death is the final and greatest transformation. I saw it with my own eyes. I had an intense sensation of Yuji Itadori's death. Is that why he was tripping on the ground? Even beyond that, the fact that he felt you to Itadori or Yuji, is Yuji, Yuji, is Yuji his brother? Or is it Yuji's technique? Just being that broken? No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Said that must mean Yuji is my younger brother. If Noritoshi Kamo has extended his life by moving from body to body, then nothing is impossible. So... Wait, is that canon? This canon? Oh, that... If that's canon, that... <laughs> I'll put so much shit. Uh, or is he tripping? I don't even fucking know. I don't even fucking know anymore. Wow. <laughs> Using all my strength, I will fulfill my duty as a as the older brother. And I gotta just, I got a round of applause, Chozo. Jeez, he's really out. <laughs> Said, no, I'm gonna do what I gotta do as a brother. Blood manipulation. Like he about to so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Is it already he just launching that fast? Damn, it's already an old boy face. He he looked like he wasn't ready. Like he was talking this shit before we like left off on last chapter, but that motherfucker like, oh, hold on, bro. So what happened? It's fast. So this is piercing blood yeah oh my god coming out here shooting these bitches off like that motherfucker from dead man wonderland nigga wow <laughs> said uh so he's cut did he make a blade too <clears throat> yeah he did he came in <laughs> came in with a blade too and get a oh no he's taking them both off hey somebody get in there help the boy out now chose so strong he says Ugh. <laughs> Raises up the ground with the no, he's on another level right now. He is scrapping hard for his brother's sake. Foot movement on all one. You see, he's like, uh, he's moving around. Uh, yeah, come on, put these head hands to ghetto or bootleg ghetto, especially since he know that nigga's is a piece of shit. But ghetto gets with a nasty blow. Said, Don't push yourself, you must be tired. He's like, So what? <laughs> is that any reason not to put my life on the line for my little brother? I mean, listen, he's going off a of big brother power. <laughs> and that's a whole nother level of power. Nigga. It's like, when, when a big brother feels like his little brother's life is in, in danger, it's like, or being bullied, like, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck how big you are, how strong you are. Then you just ain't gonna come around here and just talk that shit and bully my little brother. Just, well, if I'm fucking around, nigga, and I gotta do my duty. Nigga, it's like, well, what you mean? What you mean? I'm tired? The fuck that me? That's my little brother. Better whoop that ass. <laughs> like what I want, what I want is for motherfucking uh, Toto to hop up in there too. Be like, oh, you his brother too? You my brother then. Yeah, yeah, let's fuck him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big brother power activate. Former, <laughs> the realest niggas here. <laughs> says, uh, Panda, says, 
I'm just asking, but you're not related, right? <laughs> he says to Itadori, as Itadori is like, just, uh, no way. He almost killed me earlier. Toto, too. Art, and, and, he, oh, and Panda asked about, he said, Toto, too. Are you giving off freaky premonitions or something? Yeah, because, like, I think he's referring to, or Panda's referring to Toto. He's like, yeah, because, like, uh, are, you refer, are, you are you related to him? No? Okay, so what about Toto? Because he, he out here saying that shit, too. So you related it. What's, what's going on? Says, says, Toto, too, are you giving off freaky premonitions or something? He's, wait a minute. So he answers him. <laughs> He's like, yep. Said, but he has created a disturbance. We must take advantage of it. I've still got two cords left, so I'll go out in front. If we all attack, we can create an opening, says Panda. Says, no matter what, we must retrieve the prison realm. At least y'all got a goal. And the nigga's like, all right. At this point, I don't even know if we can fuck with him like that. But we just got to get this prison realm thing and then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Do something. So all of them trying to take advantage of Chozo doing some damage. He's like, unblockable drumming. Okay, Donkey Kong. So he's coming down with a massive palm. Motherfuckers feel the sensation. Wait a minute. Who is giving these motherfuckers chills? <laughs> Ice formation. How ironic is that? <laughs> Ice formation. Frost calm. <sighs> oh, Rookie, you look at. Bruh, she freezes or he freezes fucking everybody. A curse technique of vice and high level. One wrong move and we'll be ripped apart. Says Kusakabe. Kusakabe, he's doing something. He's chilling. <laughs> Literally. Says, and Ghetto's like, don't kill them. I need a messenger. What the f A messenger to who? Is that reason enough to let everyone live? So, like, he's holding out his hand. I guess he gets a kickback from, from the ice technique and it starts freezing him. Reverse curse technique. This curse technique is on a whole other level. I want to go home. Oh. Kusakabe, the tank of Samurai said, I'm tired of this shit. I done almost died too many times, bro. Said, this ice isn't enough to hold me, says Chozo. And I think he's warming up his blood. Flowing red scale. Then how much is? Goes up to his motherfucking face with a, <laughs> a ice uh, pointed finger or whatever. Eat a dory shirt off with a fucking drop kick. Drop kicks fucking Chozo out the way. Whose body do you think that is? Oh yeah, he, he's like he's like whose body do you think that is? It's mine, suck. It's a cooler just in here. Fuck you. <laughs> and if you with him, we can scrap too. Cause fuck Sakuda. <laughs> Says you're our ally, right? He's like, and Chozo's like, no. <laughs> he's like, huh? I'm the only one who wasn't frozen. Must have something to do with Sakuna. And then, like Chozo's like. I'm your older brother. Brother, take this seriously, would you? So now he's scolding him. He's like, "Why don't you try calling me big brother, just once?" <laughs> he's trying to get him to call him brother. Oh no! And the chick out of broom tool manipulation, wind scythe, and throws this broom scythe. And I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're thinking with these with these basic ass attack, but it ain't gonna do nothing. And like, oh, Ice dude, just like, and Ghetto didn't even move. He like just chilling. Oh, Ice dude's like, yeah, get the fuck out. <laughs> Look at here. They withstood that with their bare hands. That hurts. Yeah, I don't know what you thought. Chill. They, their re resume and power is greater than what you know. Itadori, we're the one, only ones who can move right now. We gotta buy time until Utahime Sensei is ready. A messenger, says the ice dude. Ice formation. Yuji Itadori alone will be enough. Nah, hell, he's like, that's the only nigga that need to live in this book. Ice fall. And he forms like some type of thing around himself. And just shoots off a fuck ton of ice. 
in pillars of ice coming down on top of their frozen eater dories just or whoever's like we're gonna die <laughs> oh no <laughs> what and then black screen it's been a while ghetto can I get your answer from before who the fuck is that Hottie. So what kind of girls are you into? Yuki Tsukumo. Did she save all of them? Because that is a travesty back there, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, you don't want none of these problems, ghetto. And Bootleg Ghetto, he's got a smile on his face, but he ain't, he ain't too happy to see her. He wasn't expecting to see her. I mean, get the box if you can. <laughs> if you can. I mean, there's a lot of motherfuckers out there, but I mean, whoever this, y'all gotta take care of this ice dude. That dude's causing havoc. He's causing massive havoc. He is everything that motherfucking uh, hits a guy should have been. Because <laughs> he is really fucking them up. Boy, and with a wave of his hand, one hand alone, just ice breath, <sighs> freeze. <laughs> but hey, man, that's the end of the chapter. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and check out some. No, hold on. First off, listen. I just want to talk about Chozo. Chozo, older brother, Cho, older brother Chozo, out here giving it his all. Now, now I need answers. I need answers. Like, is is if Itadori's innate fucking curse technique has to do with like implanting of memories into people or whatever like they theorize or say like does it go so deep to the point where this motherfucker who's literal he literally has a blood connection to his brothers and feels when they're like in trouble or in danger to the point where he felt Itadori and it's not out and it's like getting given the situation with this dude hopping bodies to bodies it's not outside the realms of possibility again we don't know anything about Itadori's parents his granddad tried to tell him, he's like, there's something I must tell you. He's like, nah, nigga, give a fuck. I just care about your granddad. But, like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Does that make it canon? Is that real? Or is, again, is if, if it, is it just Itadori's just technique just being so broken that it, it, is it literally rewriting, I guess, history to some degree? You know what I'm saying? Like, I might not be your brother, but I guess. For real, but like what happened is when I used my curse technique, nigga, it made it so that whatever I wanted the memory to be actually happened. And that's what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Because these techniques are broken as fuck. And they are way more complex and in, 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 um, detailed than what lays on the surface. But I don't know, guys. Let me know what your take is on that. But uh, past that, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and check out some of the other content on the channel. Check you guys on the next one. Peace.